So as you can see, I've got a number of different compositions that I used to display animated GIFs on the Week 10 Plus page. And I wanted to show you how to do that for yourself so that you can include that on your portfolio. So if I take one of these compositions, let's say Flow Motion, you can see that it's seven seconds long. Let me show you how to turn that into something that will simply play as an animated GIF on your portfolio. So we're going to go to Export, and we're going to add it to the Adobe Media Encoder queue. It does need to be all updated in the same versions, or you may run into some problems. So we're looking for it to show up over here. It can take a little bit longer than Premiere. So I've got this already set, but let me show you where I got it. So by clicking on it, I get this export screen. That should look somewhat familiar to you. Now the format we have been using for video is the H.264, but we're going to make an animated GIF out of it. And I've made a preset for myself, and you can save yours once you get that as well. If I just go to Custom, it is going to put the output is now the same as the source. So this is what you're going to see the first time through. Now you do not want it to be that big. If you're going to make something that high resolution, it really should be a video. So we need to make a change to the basic video settings and reduce the size. So if this is locked, it's going to just match the source right there. So I believe we uncheck that. And then you have to decide on a width. If we say a width of 600, which is what I used, that's about a third of the width. And so you could fit a couple of those next to each other on a standard web page. So if I click 600 and then just tab or enter, it's going to make one that is 600 by 338. And that's about it. So the output name here is the same as my composition. So this is the flow motion. You can actually check it. This is one that you're most familiar with. So I'm going to click OK and decide where that is going to go. By default, it'll actually not be going to an easy to find place. It's in this AME folder inside my video project folder. So I'm going to go to my digital portfolio project folder. And I recommend, as always, to put the date code in there in case you do a second version, then you would know which one is which. And I have named it the effect that it's displaying. So I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to wait. So I'm going to go back and do another one. So I'm going to do, let's see, I got this lens one that I did. Um, it actually is fairly complicated. If I select all of these, Control A and the U key, you can get a little bit better sense. So it's actually the same one repeated with another one behind it, just so that there's never any um, blank on there. If I turn that off, you can see that this is what those three on top look like. So I'm going to turn that one back on. And you can see that it's actually uh, had to make it a little longer. So this is my work area bar. You can drag it. Now, when you make a mistake, it's best to make a big one and control Z undo. If you grab just the end here, you can tell it where you want it to stop. And that seemed like a good place to make it kind of loop when there was nothing really happening. Composition, no, sorry, file. And I'm going to export using the Adobe Media Encoder. It's already set to animated GIF. If I click on that, you can see it there. And we don't want transparency. Doesn't seem like that's an option. And I've got this saved one. So again, you're at custom. The output name is already set. But I want it to go to a different place. My digital portfolio. I'll go to the beginning and 23 10 31 and this is my cc lens animated gif and it's already set to 600. if i do match source it goes back to that original but to click and change it just uncheck that box and click ok now that i've got two jobs ready to go i can press play 
and it's going to take care of the first one. And then it's going to do the second one. So pretty handy if you have a number of them to do. Just set them all up and then let it encode. Now when I go and look in my digital portfolio project folder, I now have these two images. They look the same because they start off the same. But if I double click, it's going to open it and show me what that animated GIF is like. It may not loop all on its own, but in this case it has. Now here's the second one, which is that lens, which is three lenses stacked after you get one. Then you can find a way to make it repeat like that. So those just get uploaded just like an image into your portfolio. And you can show off what those are, explain which effect you use, what got keyframed, that sort of thing. Now there's another way to show these off. And I'm going to show how to make a high resolution video that really is like a demo reel of whatever we've done here.